I'm Brett Matem of brett.matem.net. In this level 100 screencast we'll look at the difference between managed and unmanaged applications. It's important to distinguish between managed and unmanaged applications, how they're compiled and run. This would give you a better understanding of the .NET framework. So what is a platform? A platform, simply put, is an operating system running on a certain processor and chipset with a specific processor architecture. How does this work? Let's say we've written some code in C++ to write out a message, hello world, to screen. We'll then compile it, let's say using a Windows 32-bit compiler. It will create an assembly, an exe file. Being a 32-bit application for Windows, it will run on Windows XP, 32-bit, and Windows 7, 64-bit. However, it is not compatible with Linux at all and will not run. Let's say we take that same code and compile it using a Windows 64-bit compiler. It will successfully run on Windows 7, 64-bit. However, it will not run on Windows 32-bit. The reason being is the 32-bit processor is unable to run 64-bit applications, nor would it run on Linux because the assembly is not supported by the Linux operating system. On the other hand, we can then take that same code and compile it using a Linux 64-bit compiler. That application assembly will now be Linux compatible and will run perfectly on a Linux 64-bit environment but that assembly will not run on 32-bit or 64-bit. This platform compatibility is a typical problem that existed in all the applications. Moving on to .NET now, let's look at managed applications and the difference between unmanaged application. Unmanaged applications are your traditional applications that have been natively compiled for that platform. Today your operating system and a lot of low-level drivers are still unmanaged code. These are binary compatible for that particular platform. When installing the .NET framework the common language runtime is installed which is a virtual environment for running .NET applications. In .NET when we create an application this application is actually compiled to to a common intermediate language. When executed, the common language runtime will translate and compile that code again into that specific platform. So when you run that SIL code on a Windows 64-bit machine, it will be translated to Windows 64-bit. If you run it on a Linux machine, it will be translated to the Linux environment. Part of the .NET framework has the .NET framework class libraries, which adds a lot of common functionality to do things such as I.O. and many, many more functions. One can also build your own custom managed libraries that your managed applications run. When deploying, these custom libraries can be deployed along with your application to any machine and it will run normally. Web applications pose a challenge. Web applications run under Internet Information Service. IIS is an unmanaged application and a low-level Windows service. What Microsoft did is they created something called the ASP.NET Runtime, which allows managed applications or managed websites to actually be run in the .NET environment through the CLR in IIS. In review, managed code runs in the virtual CLR environment. Unmanaged code is native to a specific hardware platform and operating system. When compiling .NET code, common intermediate language assemblies are created. When these SIL assemblies are executed, the common language runtime converts the SIL code 
into native code and then executes it on whatever platform supports.net.